Within each ski season, which is November to April, there are seasons. These seasons I'm referring to are high season and low season when it comes to pricing, lodging and lift tickets. And there are also times throughout the ski season that the snow and the temperatures are different. Here I'll share these different seasons to help you plan your trip to the mountains. Or if you're a travel advisor, help you plan for your clients. I'm Jill, I love learning and sharing all things mountain destinations and my favorite tools and tips for travel advisors and entrepreneurs. Let's start with snowfall and how it plays out through the season. And then we'll get to pricing after that. Mid to late November is typically when ski resorts open and the snow can be pretty unpredictable at that time. I live in a ski resort in Colorado and usually it's not very snowy, but sometimes you can luck out with an early season storm. I think people like November skiing because it's exciting. The resorts are opening, but it's really hard to predict the snowfall. December can also be iffy for snow. Usually we do see a storm or two and ski resorts can open more and more of their ski terrain throughout the month of December. By the time Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year's comes along, the temperatures are pretty low, but it's still kind of hard to predict how much snow we'll have. I've seen big storms roll in, and I've also seen it pretty dry. Many of the big ski resorts have snowmaking capabilities, which is great. So a trip to the mountains during festive season can still be amazing, even if a storm hasn't rolled in recently. When a big storm does come in during the holidays, it is magical. Great skiing and festive. January can be very reliable, so the temperatures start to come down, storms start coming in, and by the end of January, you have really good snow. February typically has great snow and low temperatures, making it an amazing time for a ski and snowboard vacation. Most of March is this way too, so March can actually be one of the snowiest months in Colorado, Utah, and the West. Towards late March, it can start to warm up and start to feel more like spring skiing conditions. So if you're someone who likes sunshine on the mountains, music, and eating your lunch outside, the end of March might be perfect for you. Depending on what the temperatures do, the snow can get a little bit mushy. So if you want the best ski conditions, February and early to mid-March are perfect. And then we have April. April is really spring skiing month. Snow is still on the mountains and you can even get a spring storm come in but it could get soft and mushy quickly as the temperatures rise. But you'll have sunny days, outdoor concerts, and some spring parties. It's a really fun time in the mountains. Next up is pricing, lift ticket rates and accommodations. Okay, so during early season, resorts are just opening, so you can find some really great pricing. But this does come with the risk of not a lot of snow. But it's still a beautiful time to be in the mountains and it's fun to experience the opening day. This includes holidays and when kids are out of school. The highest season is the festive season, Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year's. If this is when you're planning a ski vacation, or if you're a travel advisor and planning for your clients, try to plan as far in advance as possible. The other high holiday times are Martin Luther King weekend in January and President's Week in February. Again, when the kids are out of school. It's a perfect time for families to travel to a ski destination. The biggest tip here is to plan early. The snow is great in February and ski towns can be really fun even when they're busy. Just know to make your plans in advance. And even for concierge services like dining reservations and snowmobiling and things like that. March is still prime winter ski season so rates will still be high but shouldn't be as high as those holidays. And you should find more availability and not need to book as far in advance as the holidays. If you're a travel advisor and just getting started with offering ski vacations to your clients, I have a free download below that has all the best qualifying questions to ask your clients when getting started. I hope this video is helpful and happy trip planning to the mountains. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it and subscribe for more mountain travel tips. Thanks for watching.